If you love pastries like millefeuille, pommier, or pativier, or even savory pastries like sausage rolls and beef wellington, then you probably love pastries that have puff pastry in it. There are three types of puff pastry. There's classic, quick puff, also known as rough puff, and invert puff pastry. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my preferred method of puff pastry, which is invert puff pastry. I'm Chef Sally Chu. I'm a professionally trained chef, and I'm here to offer you videos every week to help you level up your baking game. Puff pastry is a laminated dough where you have layers and layers of buttery dough with a lean dough in between. And this is what gives you that beautiful puff in your pastry. I prefer invert puff pastry as I find it yields the best results. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Consider subscribing as I offer videos every week on baking, baking for food intolerances, as well as chocolate and confections. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make pet feuilleté inversé, also known as invert puff pastry. Let's begin by making the butter dough, also known as barrage. In a mixer with a paddle attachment, mix the butter with flour until smooth and homogenous. On a piece of parchment paper, mark out the desired dimensions. Flip the paper over so the butter does not come into contact with the ink. Transfer the mixture and form into a rectangle. Wrap the barrage in the paper and roll the butter into an even layer as well as reaching into the corners. Once the butter is formed, chill it in the fridge for approximately two hours. For the lean dough, also known as de trompe, mix all the ingredients in a mixing bowl with a dough hook. Mix until the ingredients have come together and developed on moderate speed for three to four minutes. Shape the dough, then wrap and chill to relax the gluten in the dough. When working with laminated dough, it's best to work in a cool environment. Rolling on a marble surface helps to keep the puff dough cold when rolling. The day I made this dough, the kitchen was a little warm, so I went as far as chilling my marble to help keep my butter cold. To begin the process of lamination, it's time to lock in the dough. Place the de trompe onto the barrage and fold over to cover. For successful rolling, both components should be the same consistency and temperature. Roll the dough into a rectangle and brush off the excess flour. Now perform the first turn. By rolling the dough into thirds, we are creating what is called a single turn or letter fold. Lift the dough from one edge and fold it towards the center. Next, lift the dough from the other edge and bring it to the center. Wrap the dough and chill in the refrigerator for two hours to relax the dough as well as to maintain a cool temperature. Once the dough is chilled and relaxed, Turn the dough 90 degrees and repeat the steps of rolling the dough into a rectangle and folding again to apply a second single turn. Wrap the dough and chill in the refrigerator for two hours. Repeat the process of rolling the dough and apply a third single turn. As you rest the dough and apply more folds, the dough will develop enough gluten and the puff pastry will look smoother and more developed. In the end, I create a total of 27 layers by administering the application of three single turns. You can repeat this process to incorporate more layers if you wish. Once you've finished creating the layers, Wrap and chill the dough until you are ready to use. I cut the dough into equal portions, then wrap and freeze until I'm ready to use.
With just three single turns, you can see the layers already achieved. If you're interested in other types of finished puff pastries, visit my pommier video, as well as my take on canoncini. If you haven't seen my Milfoy video, check out the link here. Or if you're interested in learning more about other types of pastries or confections, YouTube recommends this video. Thanks for watching and cheers.